Hey, what's up, family? Welcome to Ask to My Aunts, where we challenge you to stop playing and start pushing. I'm live and direct, coming from the treadmill in my basement. I wanted to um, bring to y'all a really quick message about what it takes to really make your relationship work. And I'm doing it from my treadmill because I don't want to be on my treadmill. My wife, she actually put the press on me to get on this treadmill, and she said, you know, all it takes is a few minutes, so go ahead and get that few minutes in. And it will go a long way for your health, for your mental, emotional, and physical health. So go ahead and put it in. So I'm lifting that up because, you know, I think that when it comes to, or at least I know when it comes to relationship work, a lot of times you don't feel like putting in the work. You don't feel like doing what you need to do to go to the next level in your relationship. You don't feel like reaching out and connecting. You don't feel like kissing. You don't feel like cuddling. You don't feel like going that extra mile because it's hard. You got a whole bunch of drama, a whole bunch of stuff that's just standing in the middle of that connection that you're looking for between you and your partner. And so sometimes you let that stuff allow you to get stagnant, to just stay stuck in that mess versus pushing through it. And so I'm lifting this up that even when you don't feel like it, it really ain't no excuse. You know, if you value what's on the other side, it's important that you actually push through and go through the difficulty, the pain, the temporary moments of I don't feel like it so you can actually feel the connection that you say you want. So y'all this treadmill about to crank up I'm about to sign off and what I'm encouraging y'all to do is stop playing and keep on pushing.